I'm still here. It's it's still evening. It's, let's oh six thirty now. <laughs> Funny how the time goes, right? Um, this is an epilogue to the story of the boiler, and and I'm gonna go right to it. In the last couple years that I was at the Ludlow studio, they decided to put in a new boiler. This ancient boiler, which is probably from the 1920s, got retired and they brought in, good God, I'm telling you, you wanna to listen to this? They brought in a brand new computerized, modern, state-of-the-art boiler. I don't know what this thing cost. It, it was a lot of money and it was fancy, man. And they, wow, they installed it. And they put in the new timer panels and they taught me how to run it. And it was, I would walk into the boiler room and I'd be like, this is, this is like a nuclear installation where I can like, wage war on the whole world if I wanted to. It was so beautiful. And all the lights, you know, the old boiler was like an old boiler. It was like funky, funky doodah. This thing was so cool. And there were like lights everywhere and it was timed and it was beautiful and smart. So the mechanic comes out and he starts adjusting it. And I said to him, you know, I don't think you're setting up that panel right. <laughs> he says to me, he says to me that that he had he had gone to the company that manufactured this thing and 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 was spent seminars learning how to run it. I said I don't care. I said I don't think you're setting up the panel right. I, I read up on it and he he got mad at me and told me to you know get the fuck out of here. Okay, right, fine. Okay, right. Okay. And I'm going to tell you the truth. Okay, two days goes by, and I suddenly felt like. Something's wrong with my boiler. My boiler. Right? I responsibilized myself. This is like a defect in my personality. My whole life. You know, we're not going to talk about that. Okay. I, I go down in the basement and the well in which the boiler is, in other words, here's the floor line and then there's a well and the boiler is down in the well. The entire well is filled with water. And the boiler is like making these really weird noises that are like, if I translate computer noises, was like, help me please, because this is really fucked up and I'm drowning. And I run in, I shut down the computers, I shut down the energy, I shut down the boiler, I shut down the panel, and I went upstairs and I called the landlord. And the technician came out. And there's something about technicians, when you tell them they're wrong and they get angry, when you find out that you were right, they don't seem to register that. They're like, well, let's just move forward. Okay. So he came in, he corrected the wiring in the panel and the boiler was running fine. And then about eight months later, I lost my loft because I got priced out of Ludlow because of upscale neighborhood becoming fancy and it cost me less money to move to a fancy building in Chelsea. The first loft building in my entire life, I, my first studio, I rented in 1964. This was my 15th studio. This is the fanciest building I ever moved to. And I, have, I don't have to take care of anything. They have a maintenance crew and everything is attended to. All I have to do is make a belligerent phone call. I got kicked out of Ludlow. So the fancy boiler is down there. And that's the end of my story. What more can I possibly tell you? Cheers.